many, many photo albums of just incidental life images. We also have uh, collections of um, key moment professional photos, and, and this is probably the most significant one to me, which I've shown on the show a few times. This is my paternal grandparents on their wedding day, which also happened to be her 18th birthday in 1941. So, Oh my goodness, you mean she didn't go to university and get a, uh, a degree and wait till she was 40 to have kids? No, she certainly didn't. And yet, in her 80s, she became a very successful author. She um, gave away hundreds of copies of this book to people in our local town. So <laughs> I call that a highly successful author. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of the young women today going to university, they're going to go out and get a job making slightly above minimum wage and never end up having kids. And when they mm. pass away, no one will ever think about them again. Whereas yeah. your grandmother, uh, she's going to be remembered, especially since she took the time to do some of the things we're saying now, you know, yeah. writing down things about herself. She's going to be remembered for many, many generations into the future. Well, this is the curious thing is I, I talk to my sons a lot about uh, our ancestors that I know of, you know, the, the real, like we talk in the abstract about our Viking ancestors uh, and that's always a fun conversation, but we also talk about the people who we know about uh, and, and, you know, chief among them, uh, my paternal great grandfather and, um, you know, the, the Higgins line essentially going back three generations. So my great grandfather Higgins and my grandfather Higgins, who I had a, a deep uh, personal relationship with, um, my sons have never met Aubrey, my grandfather, who was in that picture. They never met him. He died before my sons were born. Um, but they know him. They know his spirit. And I talk of him often. And I, you know, I evoke his spirit in, in the way I lead my family because he was a great patriarch and he taught me well how to be a good man, how to be a good Christian, how to lead a family with, with integrity. And, uh, and so I try to emulate him and continue the traditions that he taught me, but I also talk about him and show these, these artifacts that I have to my son. So they speak as though they know him. Uh, and that's a, that's a curious thing uh, that that line... Um, although um, was threatened to be broken, especially around World War I, when my great-grandfather was killed and left my, um, my grandfather as a four-year-old without his father, uh, my grandfather was able to uh, found the new family and become the patriarch as he became a man, and now we have at least three generations of unbroken wisdom being shared um, from, son, from father to son. And, and that's a, that's a great gift that I, I'm very, very grateful for and, and grateful to be able to pass on.